here I'll show you a, a technique that can be used to factor uh, quadratic polynomials so let's look at the first problem we have 1 times x squared minus 2x minus 63 so the technique goes this way first multiply the coefficient of x squared with a constant make sure it's in the right order it's it should be in decreasing powers of x first the quadratic term which is the square term then the x term and then the constant so once you arrange it that way then multiply the coefficient of x squared which is 1 with the constant which is negative 63 and 1 times negative 63 is negative 63 now think of all possible factors of negative 63 but remember that these factors must add up to negative 2 so now let's look at negative 63 obviously the most basic one would be negative 63 times 1 or negative 1 times 63 but when you add up the two factors for example if I add up the 63 and the negative 1 I get 62 but remember that I want the 2 to add up to negative 2 so we have negative 63 again let's think of other factors now let's write down another one 7 times 9 is 63 but I want a negative so I could write it as negative 7 times 9 or 7 times negative 9 now when you add up the two factors we need to make sure that they add up to negative 2 negative 7 plus 9 is positive 2 so that's not going to work for us so let's look at this uh, 7 times negative 9 is negative 63 and when I add the 2 7 and negative 9 I get a negative 2 so this is exactly what's going to work for us okay so what do we have so far 7 times negative 9 is negative 63 and remember that negative 63 is the product of the coefficient of the first term and the constant so that's negative 1 times uh, negative uh, 63 times 1 which is negative 63 and also remember we are choosing those specific factors that will add up to negative 2 because that's the coefficient of the middle term so now we follow a certain procedure so let's write this down x squared we leave that alone negative 63 the last term we leave that alone but the middle term we're going to split it using <clears throat> 7 and 9 so if I go plus 7x minus 9x do you see where I'm getting these uh, numbers from the 7 comes from 7 and the negative 9 comes from the factors of come from the factors of negative 63 and they add up to negative 2 so if if 7 minus 9 is negative 2 then obviously 7x minus 9x is equal to negative 2x so we have the middle term which is negative 2 is written as plus 7x minus 9x now we factor by grouping which means we take the first two terms and the next two terms and we factor it so when you look at the first two terms a common factor is x we factor that out so if you have an x squared we factor out an x we are left with x to the 1 now when you work backwards if you go x times x it has to equal x squared so now we, if we factor x out of positive 7x we get positive 7 now think about multiplying this back remember that we should get back x squared plus 7x so what we're doing is the opposite which is factoring now a common factor between negative 9x and negative 63 is negative 9 I'm taking a negative 9 so that way when I 
factor out the negative 9 from negative 9x, I'm left with an x. And when I factor out a negative 9 from a negative 63, I'm left with a positive 7 because negative 9 times positive 7 is negative 63. Now it all works out because if you look at the next step, notice that the common factor is the entire parentheses, which is x plus 7. So we can factor out. It can be factored further. So we factor out an x plus 7. Now we write down the leftover terms. Let's see if I can highlight this. We write down the leftover terms. So if I factor out an x plus 7, I get, I'm left with an x. If I factor out an x plus 7 from the second term, I'm left with a negative 9. So that's how I get x minus 9. So what we've done is we've completely factored the quadratic expression uh, x squared minus 2x minus 63, which is equal to x plus 7 times x minus 9.